Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're gonna talk about intellect in the quant space, and are quants really that smart? Um, I was at a conference here this last week, so shout out to Quant Vision, uh, Alex at Rebellion Research, uh, Dr. Shang over at Fordham um, for putting on an awesome conference. I had a blast. Uh, I flew out uh, and spent a couple days, so I flew in the day before, flew out the day after, did a bunch of meetings and breakfast events and lunches and dinners and things. Had a blast, did a lot of networking, but I kind of feel bad because there was an individual that came towards the end of it and there was a conversation going on about the quant space and about quants in general. And the commentary was made that, you know, well, obviously the industry is full of chocked full of like really smart people. And I was like, no, the industry is chocked full of idiots. That was my exact words. I think I said idiots was the word. I know I said idiots, but I don't know if I said chocked full. Um, but the industry is not full of geniuses everywhere just oozing out of the woodworks and you know it's quant finance of course we're super smart right they have to be super smart um no i don't think so and i found that my perspective on this i guess deviates substantially from the other people those those other people out there um i've talked to a lot of people and a lot of people i don't know if they're just humble um i don't know if there's a lack of understanding when i say smart um, and I'm going to define this. We're going to get into this a little more nitty gritty. Um, so I can show you guys what I'm talking about more so. Um, and so let's just dive into this real quick here. Now, imagine we're going to say just IQ. We're going to pull IQ out of a hat. Um, we're going to have a distribution. You can imagine like a Bell distribution. Um, of course, when you look at the Bell distribution for the U.S. population, the global population, whatever you want, uh, you're probably going to be fairly, you know, symmetric, fairly stable. Um, in the quant space, I would argue you have a long, long right tail when you look at just IQ, uh, meaning a lot of quants, people in the quantitative finance industry, so this is something else that makes it complicated. How do you define quantitative finance? How do you define quants? I know people are like, Dimitri, stop. <laughs> Just stop. Stop defining quants. Um, but how you define that will vary and impact it differently. Different jobs have different skills, different sets of IQ. Um, but I would argue that you have a good hump. I don't know where that hump is around, right? Average IQ is 100. Obviously, in the quant space, I'd argue it's going to be past 100, right? It's better than the average. Um, but you're going to have, I would say, long skew where you have some individuals that are definitely off the charts. But I would argue the vast majority are going to be more towards some sort of centered piece here. Now, you could argue and say, of course, quants are, you know, the quant finance space is chucked full of really smart intellectual people because we're better than the average population. Sure. But I think that's a pretty loose and stupid definition to put out there. Um, and so when you start to look about this thing, about this, let's think about this more deeply, right? IQ doesn't mean much. I'm sorry, it really doesn't, even in the quant space. And this has really been hitting hard, uh, you know, close to home here le recently. Um, we're talking about the quant space because I've seen a lot of really bright individuals out there and they have great ideas and they can't get pieces to come together. So I've been coaching and kind of working with a few people in the space on um, senior roles, senior titles, uh, asking me about some career development, career advice as well, getting ahead, um, which I'm going to put a little caveat here. Um, I'm going to be doing a paid private YouTube channel that's part of my regular channel, but it's a paid subscription. Uh, it's going to be for career development, career advice for those that are later in a career, maybe mid junior ish, but through like the career prospects, it's not going to be intended for students. Um, but I think a lot of practitioners will benefit from that. But anyways, um, so I was talking to this individual about that, looking at this sort of space here, guiding them through some of these issues. And a lot of this comes down to skills that are not quant, not IQ, not math, not stats related. Um, they come into other perspectives. And I'm not even going to say EQ because it drives me nuts. And people look at IQ and EQ. I think they're both stupid concepts. Um, but you're going to have more or less the networking, the communication skills, um, the sales skills, which actually came up at the Quaint Quant conference here in our panel discussion on fintech space uh, about the importance of being able to sell your ideas, to sell your model, to sell like everything, right? I mean, you imagine you build the world's best model. I've built some models I thought were stellar off the charts, really cool ideas. And then when I went to explain and sell these models to people, I didn't do a very good job at convincing them that this was like 
cutting edge, like new thing and like how it could be used and like trying to get the sales pitch in. I just, I didn't do a good job at that. Um, I think this is where, in my opinion, I don't think the quant space is very smart because there are very few quants that have a lot of the really smart IQ cutting edge research in general. There's not. There are tons and tons of people with technical analysis saying they're quants, um, doing, you know, hand wavy, back of the napkin, little tricks and tips and thinking like they're cutting edge. If you were light years ahead of everybody and you were so smart and just a genius, you'd be raking in, you know, 60% returns like Rentac and you'd be doing it year after year after year because you just understand the marketplace, you understand the people, you have the best models, the best tools, you know everything. But the reality is that's not a realistic view. There's just not many people that can do that. Um, and that's what it comes down into a lot of these funds. Why do funds tend to perform much better than others? Um, it's because you have some sort of great manager that's able to put the pieces together, put smart people together, run them, drive them. And I will argue you need a quant manager to really do this successfully, at least in most cases. I've seen a few business exceptions. But of mine's got an MBA and he's he's cutting edge light years ahead of any MBA I've ever met and ahead of most quants I've ever met. But being able to put those pieces together, um, having a manager that is a catalyst, you need a manager that's going to drive, spark, ignite and move forward the team in kind of unheard of ways when you look at the quant space. It's generating new ideas, it's implementation. Like I'm really in this space in the last probably few months here prior to Project Phoenix that I'm working on, um, I'm really fired up on the inside. I'm really wanting to like do something great. I wanna do something different. I wanna change how things are done industry-wide. Um, and part of this is just like, I'm, I'm bogged down and I'm tired of it, but it's trying to get all those pieces put together. And I think that's where I start to look at it and I go, how many people in the quant space have a great idea who can sell their idea, convince others it's an amazing idea. It's cutting edge, it's new, it's innovative, and it's really gonna change the industry. I mean, I'm waning, I'm still waning here. Like how, how many people do you guys know? And I'm not saying that there's not any in the industry. I actually know quite a few of these individuals um, and I'm sure there are other ones out there. But often when I talk to people and I get going through kind of the motions of the conversation, I have this feeling like they look at like some, a number, like they're like, oh, it's IQ. This guy's really smart. And it's like, well, great. They don't understand the marketplace or the network or the business or the applications. And so even though they have something that might work on paper, it's not working in practice. And that's going to be on trading and investing side. That's going to be on banking and sell side as well. You know, putting together ideas, putting together products, being able to drive those. I just don't see a lot of it in the industry. And again, there's a lot of bright people, but I wouldn't like, you know, put my, you know, I don't know, put some big large bet or something on like, you know, quant finance has the world's smartest people and we're just so much better than everybody else, which is kind of the mentality I get, especially when you start talking to hedge funds and you realize they're blowing up daily. Like that's, that's the entertaining part of this whole thing. You look at hedge funds, you're like, oh, blows up, blows up, blows up, blows up. And you're like, oh, these funds made it four years, blows up. Like, there are very few funds that are making it long term that are really doing it successfully. Uh, longevity is a key aspect of that. There's a ton of gamblers in the space. Don't get me wrong. That's what it takes a lot of times, right? There might be that entrepreneurial spirit. There might be that communication, that sales pitch person that's driving and setting funds up. But then they're lacking, again, the quant aspect of that piece. They're not able to make successful quantitative models. But more importantly, they're probably lacking the full comprehensive understanding of risk management, which all goes into this process here. So, you know, is quant significantly smarter than the average public? Of course. Um, is it significantly smarter than other industries? I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, tech got some really bright people as well. I would argue tech has a bunch of lackeys that are lazy and don't work. And it's you know, this is why we see this large correction going on in tech right now. Quant finance is the same way. I mean, there's a lot of people just towing the line, riding the boat, you know, having a good time. And they're not really adding a lot of value to these sorts of firms and industries. Um, so, I mean, guys, think about it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Like, do you think the industry is just chock full of really smart, bright ind individuals? Or are you a little more pessimistic like myself and you start to tear these things apart? And you're like, I mean, how do you define smart. And then when you say smart, I mean, how many people do you actually know? And like, there are some people I'm like, oh, they're geniuses. Like really like honest geniuses, IQ, personality, um, you know, social skills, putting all the traits and pieces together. Um, 
but these things aren't easy to train and teach and do. It, it's a very, very challenging thing. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time. Thank you.